Hey YouTube, happy President's Day. Um, I'm Republican, so yeah, I'm not very enthusiastic about this one. However, I want to show you something. So, these past couple weeks have been a freaking, just a complete disaster with my car. Um, the transmission's fine, it's not that aspect, but the axle on the, dri on the passenger side went bad, so the CV axle that drives the car, and then after that, a nail flew into the CV axle seal, or the output shaft seal, and um, my transmission was leaking, so that wasn't very fun, but here's what I want to show you now. Oh, and on top of that, Pep Boys didn't fasten my negative battery cable, so I basically almost fried my alternator and my car computer. That wasn't fun either. So this is what I want to show you. Idle's pretty low uh, for being cold. I just started the car, as you can see, and I'm going to shift it into reverse. Goes up a little bit, goes into reverse. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit lower because... Well, in gear it always is lower for some apparent reason. My mom's does it too, so I'm not really worried. But my question is, is how come when I let off the gas and the car is cold, the RPMs go to a ridiculously low setting? Um, as, right now I haven't even touched the gas, so it's going to continue moving forward pretty quickly. In fact, the gas is already engaged since I adjusted the idle. Um, I'm going to pull out of the gate here. And you see, it's still pretty high for being cold, and it hasn't even started warming up yet. But the one thing I want to show you is now, I'm, now I have my foot on the gas. So it shifted fine, and it's shifting perfectly. But my question is, is how come as the car starts to warm up and the idle turns, the fast idle turns off, is when the idle be becomes really low? Watch. So it doesn't go into fourth, and then. See, it drops down r really low, and then that's my question is, why does it do that? Um, I'm going to try to get it to go into fourth. It usually doesn't shift into fourth re pretty quickly because, obviously, when the car is cold, they sometimes they'll lock out overdrive until it, because they take longer to shift. So that's first, second. Now, gear three. And then we're going to go into gear four. Now, I want to show you what's going on here is that it drops down really a lot. See that? And then it starts to, f like, here, look at it. It starts to float around a little bit. And it just stays there. Now, but it, the transmission is still slowing down the car, but my question is, is why does it, why is it trying to fluctuate the RPM so much? So that's my question here, is, uh, is why is it doing that? Because, you know, it's just never done that before. And, and what it's telling me is that it's not the transmission is if, is because it's still it's downshifting. You see that it downshifted, and it's going to downshift into first too because I can feel it in the in the brake pedal. So I'm going to do this again. I'm going to try to get up to 50 now. Now remember the transmission and the engine are still cold, so I'm not revving it really really high. Now I'm at 45, going up to 50. And the torque converter, like I said, it doesn't lock because obviously the car is cold, but watch when I let off the gas. It drops down a rather ridiculous amount, and it stays down there, but it doesn't pop back up, so it's telling me it's not, it's, it's telling me basically that either it's the fuel system, or it's a vacuum leak somewhere, or it's something along that sort, because it can't be the transmission, it just can't. The fluid's fine, the fluid is pink, pink as can be, really, really pink. R well. It's pink and red, sort of is sort of deal. So it's telling me it's not the transmission for sure. Now, if I keep my foot on the gas, it just it's just pretty normal. But the only thing that, that my question was is why is why does it drop down so low when the car is cold? Now you see the car's starting to warm up, so it's not gonna be it's not gonna do it. It is still gonna unlock the torque converter at 50. For some reason, it has always done that, but. You know, I'm not really worried about that. It's just the fact that I'm wondering why my RPMs drop so low when I let off the gas. You better not pull out in front of me. Okay, so as you can see, RPMs are pretty normal now. They're pretty stable. So it's kind of telling me that the car needs to recover itself before it does anything. But even then, it's still going to drop down a little bit until I actually get to maybe like 45, which I'm gonna show you in, in just a couple seconds when I turn right. But it's just, it's just bothers me because it's really, it's really low. And 
you know, if it if it wasn't, it's not consistent. So I don't know. It's just like, it's like the RPMs are dropping so so low that it's the car fumbles a little bit when it's. See how low the idle is. That's kind of that's kind of unusual. It's really low. So that's just my question: is why is the fast idle so low? Um, I put in fuel injector treatment, so hopefully my my fuel injectors will be treated. Uh, maybe that's the culprit because as I drive the car, the idle comes up. So it tells me that it's either more air is able to get in, or the fuel injector is finally cleared out, but. My question is, is why would there be so much crap put into a fuel injector overnight? So here we go. Now the car's acceleration has taken a... Oh my god, you freaking idiot. More on steroids, I swear to god. Okay, now the torque converter is going to lock. Now it locks pretty slowly, that was really interesting. But then it unlocks at 50, and then it drops the RPMs for some apparent reason. So why is it doing that? Hang on, let's see. Fourth, torque converter lockup. Okay, so now I'm gonna let, let off the gas and just let it slow down by itself. Okay, maybe not, because the light just turned red. Okay, so did you see how, they, how it takes like a sudden drop? It's almost as if it's letting go, like, like that. So that's just my question, is if it's doing that, you see, and now the idle's high again. So do you see my frustration here? This is really frustrating because it's like, you know, and then it drops down and it comes back, and then that was me because I basically put the idle back up. But my idle's idling really, really low, and it's kind of frustrating. So if anybody has any idea what this could possibly be, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, it doesn't seem like it's a transmission problem, but you never know. It very may well could be. So if anybody has any questions or if anybody has any answers for me, let me know. Later.